to Science Hill High School. My name is Rebecca Rebeth and I'm the PTSA president this year. We're making this video for you to teach you about Science Hill. These are all the things that you'll learn about on Freshman Friday, if we have it. If we don't, you can watch this video. It's gonna be a strange year, but we know it's gonna be a great year and we're all in it together. We are Science Hill and this is Science Hill 101 for parents. Science Hill High School is comprised of three campuses. The main campus, the Career and Technical Education Building, commonly known as the CTE, and Topper Academy, located not far from main campus on West Market Street. try freshman drop off. So we just turn in here by this lovely sign. And freshman drop off is straight ahead. Are you sure? I think it is. We're not supposed to go that way? No, it says one way this way. So let's try that way. Okay. Yeah, this looks right. The freshman building is coming up, I think, on our right. Oh, look at this sign. It says, begin drop-off zone. Oh, well, what do you know? Okay. I guess we could drop <laughs> off here. Awesome. All right, honey, bye. In here. Is she going now, or should we go up farther? Oh, yeah, let's go up all the way. So, I guess this zone is anywhere in here we could drop her off? Okay, well, if I go up farther, then more people can drop off behind me. That is true. Smart thinking. Bye, honey. Have a great day. Bye. -bye. I'm so excited. Okay. All right. Now, what do I drop her off? What do you do after you drop her off? I'm not sure. Come Which up way do I here. Go? I guess if we went to the right, you would avoid all the traffic at Liberty Bell. Oh, that's smart thinking, Paula. Yeah. All right. Let's try this. I'm glad I have a seasoned mom to show me the ropes. And this right here in front of us is the CTE building. So then what do we do? This looks kind of crazy. Uh, I think go straight ahead. Okay. There's a stop sign right up here too. Make sure you stop. Yes, there sure is. Oh, and look, there's Steve Springer Field. Okay. Whoa, it's the CTE building. It is, and this takes you straight out to Liberty Bell Boulevard. This is awesome. Now, can you also drop off here? I think you can, but only if your kid has CTE first period. Okay. Makes sense. If your kid has orchestra or band, or some classes that are close to the main office, you might want to turn here and you can drop your kid off going this way past the main office. The door that the kids will go in is actually goes through the cafeteria and Grand Topper Hall and it is that door right there. This is a one way only so you come now around this curvy thing and straight up to the stop sign. At morning drop off, you may only turn right here and give way to the buses that are dropping off. And look right here, it says no left turn onto John Exit Parkway. That means as you exit here, you may only turn right. I can't turn left? You can't turn left. Only the buses in the afternoon can do that. You as a personal car cannot do that. Oh, uh, well, you know what? I'll just go up here and make a U-turn past the places where I can't, and yeah. I'll make a U-turn to get where I'm About going. 
three lanes down, you can make a U-turn. Our parking lot. If you turn here on Cotty Jones, you can drop your kid off alternate way number three. So you go up this road, and the little road here that says one way, you turn in here. Now this is if your kid has CTE classes or maybe has PE first period. And right up here at that first lamppost, you're gonna turn to the right and follow it around to the drop off zone here. As soon as you make this curve, you can drop off kids anywhere along this stretch. And they go in that door right there. If they're in PE, they would go right there. That's called Topper Nation. This building over here is Topper Palace. You can go around the gyms and also go into the classroom buildings. On regular days, you'll go straight through this. It's closed off for us right now for summer. You'll go straight through this and it'll put you into the tiered parking lot. Make sure you stop before the second tier and give the kids coming up the hill the right of way. It's a pretty steep angle. And then you go right onto Liberty Bell Boulevard and take a right. Just for our seniors, this is not a drop-off area for kids. So parents, don't come this way. Who's that? Who is that? I've never seen her here before. Wait, how old are you? I've not seen her you? before. I'm a junior. This, is, uh, senior this is senior parking only. Gotta head out to the range. Gotta head out to the range. Juniors. Juniors. Ain't freshmen and some. Students will report to homeroom on the first day of school, and then they will travel to all of the rest of their classes that day. On the second day, they will go directly to first period. There are signs up all over the school to list your homeroom assignment, and all the freshman homerooms are in the freshman building. Students will attend homeroom the first day of school, the first day in January, and a few other times during the year. Homecoming voting and testing in certain cases. Every other day, you'll go directly to first period. The school day begins at 7.40 a.m. and dismisses at 2.45. The first day of school is a full day. Students should be in their seats by 7.40. There are eight minutes between classes. During the first few weeks, the students will often use the entire eight minutes learning the best path from one class to the next. And CTE classes will probably take the full eight minutes to get to and from the main campus. Don't wait on friends if you're going to CTE because you will be late. Hi guys, my name's Steven. Hi Steven. And I have a really deep confession to make. One time, I was late to class by five minutes. <laughs> but Steven, you have eight minutes between classes. You were waiting for a friend, weren't you? No, no, I wasn't. No, Steven. no, I can never. Classrooms can be really cold. Besides appropriate dress code items, your student might want to take a jacket in their backpack for some classes. Take a look as they leave each morning for any obvious violations. And they must wear their ID on a lanyard at all times. 
park here, go in this door, and go left for deliveries to a student, forgotten lunch or sports equipment, etc. Medications to send to the clinic or for a patient appointment. All medicines, OTC or prescription, must be accompanied by a signed release form and given to our school nurse. Students, turn right to the attendance office to check in or out. This year, parents will only be allowed in the building if they have an appointment. Once inside, you must sign in on the Raptor system. If you need to check your child out early, you must call the attendance office at 232-2191. Student will be ready to go when you arrive. Please make sure that the school has accurate contact information, phone and email. If these change during the year, please change them with the school right away. Please complete online registration the first day paperwork as soon as possible. So here's some things that you want to know. PowerSchool is a download, an app that you can download that goes through the gradebook portal on the Johnson City School Web website. Science Hill does not print report cards, so this is how you can keep up with your child's grades. Canvas is a learning management system that, will, that students will use. Some assignments are submitted through Canvas and they need to watch due dates daily. Remind, sign up for this for your counseling department. Parents and students can sign up for this. All you need to do is text. Okay. <laughs> announcements. Uh, check the school website for PowerSchool regularly for announcements or sign up for emails from the Gradebook portal. Your handbook is available online. Teachers will go over it with students on the first day. There are protocols in the handbooks for various things, plus school rules and expectations. It also has contact information, automatic calls, and, and tardies. If your student is absent or tardy, you will receive an autom autom automated phone call, email, and text. Uh, this might happen even if you've called your student out, and it can happen on test days. And just a few more things. Counseling appointments can be made in the main office or in the CTE office. Schedules have been made and there are certain requirements to, re to request a change. If you feel a change is warranted, pick up a change request form in the main office during the first week of school and turn it in immediately. Parent-teacher conferences are typically scheduled for September and you make an appointment to have one. Students aren't allowed to use their cell phones during class time unless the teacher has approved it and many classrooms have no cell service. If you text your child, you probably won't receive it until between classes or at lunch, so believe him if he says he didn't, couldn't answer you right away. You may want to turn off cellular data for certain apps while they're at school so their phones don't blow through a lot of data trying to get Snapchats. And finally, if there is a lockdown, you will not be notified by the school until after the fact. And there is a reason for that, so please don't complain. The people dealing with it are better trained than we as parents are, so trust them. Don't come to the school. In an emergency situation, the last thing anyone needs is for a bunch of parents to come and hinder the trained officials. The school has training drills to practice for these situations. Thank you all so much for watching. We hope you learned something. If you have questions, please let us know. We're here for you throughout the year. We encourage you to get involved and stay involved throughout these four years. They will go very quickly. Thank you for watching and have a great year.